Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to tackle Mitsuzen HDI10 and we're going to target the left arm problem. Uh, so let's get started. Let's read the problem. Read a value from the nerve connected to your central nervous system and relay it to the nerve connected to your arm, clamping the value so that it never goes below 120, negative 120, and above 50. So let's have a look at the output. We can see we got a bunch of central nervous system values and a bunch of output arm values. And if we take a look at one of the negatives, negative 652, we can see that we're clamping the value to negative 120. And vice versa, for values uh, over 50 or 477, we're going to clamp it to 50. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get started. To start with, let's move our first exa. Let's move our first exa to the very end. Link one, link one, link one, link one. So this will take the XR there, 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 there. So it's at the arm nerve. So this is where we're going to be putting data uh, out. Um, and actually, let's just set it up to pass any values that it sent uh, over the M variable out the nerve. So we can do that by going uh, mark. Uh, send and then copy from M to the nerve and then we'll jump back to send. So this basically sets up X8 for um, to be sort of the receiver and then the transmitter out the nerve when it receives values over the M global. Okay cool so let's go ahead and create a second X now that will handle the talking to the uh, central nervous system and then relaying the information out the arm nerve. So to start with, we're going to link it, or link to 800, and then we're going to start to interface with the central nervous system. So we'll mark, uh, just call this loop. Then we're going to copy the value from the nerve into our X register. Now we need to look at this value in the X register and determine what we should be sending uh, out, basically. So we'll test to see if x is greater than 50, because that's the upper bound. And if it is, then we'll, if it's true, then we're going to jump to a function that we'll define in a sec, we'll call it high. And then we'll test to see if the x value is less than negative 120. And if it is, then we'll, again, uh, if it's true, we're going to jump to a function or a branch called low. And if neither of those are true, then we're going to just copy the value from x and we're just going to put it into m and when it's placed into m we'll find that xa actually relays that information straight out um, and then we'll just jump back to loop to sort of reset this block uh, let's close all that up and now let's define these two functions here so we're going uh, mark high and mark low now for high, we just want to copy the upper threshold, so we're just going to copy 50, and then again we'll just jump back to loop, and for low, same sort of deal, just copy the lower bound, which is negative 120, and then we'll jump out again as well. And I think this is all we need in this case, because uh, we don't, we aren't being asked to clean up, so we don't need to make sure we halt anything, uh, this should just work. And as we can see, yep, it's passing the data out and we're successful. Let's speed that up. And voila, we are done. I'll see you in the next one.